Greetings, my brother and my sister, Reverend Dr. Sonny Bridges, pastor of the Bethlehem No More Michigan Baptist Church in Conway, South Carolina. I felt and uh, it was imperative that I do uh, come again. Uh, you probably heard on, through the Bible study lesson on Wednesday at 7.30, but I felt there was a need uh, for me uh, to share this to you about voting. Uh, many things are going on uh, this year during our election, and uh, I just want to encourage our parents uh, who have students, when I say students, children the age of 18, I pray that you've already got them registered, and they are, and we're encouraging them to go to the poll and, and, and vote. Uh, it is important that we do that. A lot of things are coming up within this election uh, that we need them to vote. We need. I cannot tell you who to vote for, but I will encourage you to go vote. Go to the polls and vote. Please, ma'am, and please, sir. You hear this again over and over, and I, 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 I did not initiate this saying, but I don't mind using it. Our former moderator, the Reverend Dr. Uh, Kofi Stanley, uh, made statements uh, in reference to voting. He said this. He said a hopeless person uh, is a, uh, I mean, a voteless person is a hopeless person. A voteless person is a hopeless person person. So we have nothing uh, to complain about if you don't go to the polls and vote. Last but not least, I wish you would take time to study the history of our foreparents when we didn't even have the rights to go and vote. And some of them lost their lives that we can have this privilege to vote. So I encourage you. I encourage you. I recommend you to go vote. Please, ma'am, and please, sir, go to the polls and vote. Remember, a voteless person is a hopeless person. God bless.